This is Rambod, and in this video, we'll set up a simple health system with UI in Unreal Engine. Let's create a health system in Unreal Engine. Go to gamesicon.net and search for health. You'll find a health icon. For the background, make sure you set the alpha to exactly zero. That's important. Also, ensure the main body color is white. Then download the PNG file. Once you have it, go to your project. Open the content drawer, navigate to the main content folder and drag and drop the health icon you just downloaded. Save the file, right click and go to user interface then widget blueprints. Create a new user widget and name it something like WBP underscore UI or HUD. HUD stands for heads up display and this will serve as our health bar. Save your widget. Open the widget blueprint that Unreal just created for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the palette on the left side, search for a canvas panel. Drag and drop the canvas panel into the blueprint. Then search for progress bar, drag it onto the canvas panel and position it where you want. Adjust the size to something like 100 by 100 or 150 by 150. In the details panel on the right, let's customize its style. For the background image, select the health icon you downloaded earlier. Set it to draw as image. Do the same for the fill image. Select the health icon and set draw as image. Keep the tint white for both. Adjust the fill color and opacity to something like red to indicate health. Set the progress bar percentage to 1 to see how it looks and configure the bar to fill from bottom to top. When you preview this, you'll see a smooth and visually pleasing progress bar with two layers the background image and the fill image. It works perfectly. Compile and save the widget. Next, let's integrate it into the game. Open your third person blueprint and find the event begin play node. If it's not there, add it from the left side panels. Use the event begin play node to create the widget. Select the widget you just created, either WBP underscore UI or HUD and add it to the viewport. When you run the game, you'll see the progress bar on the left side of the screen. Now, let's add functionality to the health system. In your third person character blueprint, create a new variable called health with the type float. Set the default value to something like 200. Save and compile. Next, we'll handle damage. Add an event, any damage node to the blueprint. This node triggers whenever the character takes damage. Use this event to subtract the damage value from the health variable. Now let's create something to deal damage. Go to your content folder and create a new blueprint. Choose actor and name it BP underscore damage. Open BP damage and add a collision box. Adjust its size to 200 by 200 by 200 to ensure the character can easily step into it. In the event graph, Right click on the collision box and add an on component begin overlap event. This event detects when something enters the collision box. Cast the overlapping actor other actor to your third person character blueprint. If the actor is your character, apply damage using the apply damage node. Set the damage amount to 10 for every overlap. Almost done. Let's bind the health variable to the progress bar. In your HUD widget, select the progress bar and create a binding for the percentage. Click on create binding to generate a new function. In the binding function, the first step is to get the player character. Use the get player character node to retrieve the character instance in the game. Then cast it to the third person character blueprint to ensure you are accessing the correct character. If it matches, we can proceed to access the health variable. If it's valid, retrieve the health variable from the character. Once you have the health value, divide it by 100. We do this to normalize the health value into a percentage range of 0 to 1, as required by the progress bar. Finally, return the result to the binding function. This ensures the progress bar dynamically updates to reflect the player's current health value in real time. That's it. 
drag and drop your damage box into the level to test it. When you play, stepping into the damage box reduces your health. That's how you create a health system with a progress bar in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated with more tutorials. Your support means a lot and I'll see you in the next video.